My name is Chris, I'm 33 years old. Before I started out the matchmaking company, I didn't really date much at all. So I'm a single dad, so seven years since my last relationship. In that time, I think I dated two people and that was a one date only thing. I tried the dating apps, the dating websites, the more popular ones that are out there. Never matched with any single person on them. So I was like, all right, these, these don't really work. That's what led me to the matchmaking company. I was like, I need to try something different. Like trying to meet people, it's like that. there's that initial barrier. So the matchmaking company kind of breaks that barrier down, links two people who are looking for the same thing, try and see if we can't create a book out of it. I am Laura and I am 33. I was trying all the typical avenues of online dating. I wasn't really finding the matches that I was looking for. I was really looking for a life partner, somebody to spend forever with and who was aspirational and wanting to achieve those same aspects of life with me. I knew that what I was looking for wasn't going to be found on the dating app, so I came to the matchmaking company. Specific things I was looking for was somebody close to my age, stable in his life, you know, financially, professionally, personally, but somebody that was down to earth, humble, even more so patient. It's one thing that I know I've needed in my life was somebody who's going to be patient with me and understanding. A lot of personality more than anything. Right a week, uh, right before Christmas, Chris called me. At first I was getting worried because it had been about a couple of hours. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna call? I don't know. He called me and we made plans to go on our first date at the end of December. So we went to Fresco's Southern Kitchen and Bar in Lakeland, Florida for our first date. So we made up there. We get that initial pleasantries out of the way, like, hey, how, how is your do day going? Like, how's work and stuff like that. And then right from the get go is kind of like uh, those, I guess, more typical difficult conversations were just comfortable and flowing. You, normally you have reservations or you're, you don't want to say certain things. It's like, oh, let's just get it out there and then see what happens. So then that conversation flowed very naturally after that. Right off the get-go, the fact that I stayed for two hours immediately showed that patience that like I kind of need. And he continues to show that, honestly, is a very patient. For what I see in Laura the first time was the, the initial compassion. Like she was open to me having a daughter and just accepting her almost from the get-go. I was like, wow, that's... To me, that meant a lot. Very understanding. I overthink sometimes quite a bit. We're both very much overthinkers. So we balance one another when we find one another in that spot. In the near future, uh, we'll, we're, we're moving under one roof. So we'll actually become a, a, a family unit, me, uh, Laura, and, and my daughter. And then in about a year or so, we'll have a wedding. We got engaged uh, about what, three weeks ago now. That's on our agenda for the next year, year and a half. Part of why I went to matchmaking was knowing I was going to find my teammate for life. The matchmaking company did pretty spot on with us. Even the first date turned into leadership principles. We're like, that's not something that most people would talk about, but it, it works. We have enough similarities, but enough differences to where it's not like, oh, I'm totally bored and I'm dating myself. They did really good. <laughs>